Hello boys and girls, my name is Danny Mac, and this tutorial definitely isn't the sexiest tutorial I've ever made, but it's really important to know, especially if you're working with shape keys. Have you ever run into this problem where you create a shape key, then when you come to add it to your mesh, it just goes insane? This is to do with the vertex order of your mesh. Every vertex on a given mesh is assigned a number, and if you want to see this number displayed like this, go into preferences and make sure developer extras is checked. Then in edit mode, turn on indices overlay. The problem arises when you start modifying the topology of your mesh. So for example sake, I'll duplicate this cube and move it out of the way. Then I'll make a cut down the middle, add a mirror modifier, apply it, and then I'll delete this center edge so that there's no visible difference in topology. However, if I now check the vertex indices, you'll notice that by making changes to the topology, we have shifted the vertex order. In this simple case, you can see that the vertices are just flipped from left to right. So when I add this as a shape key, what Blender does is first check that the shape has the same number of vertices, which it does, so Blender assumes everything's okay. Then what Blender does is check for a difference in the relative position of each vertex, because obviously that's the whole point of a shape key. So in this case, you might have been expecting the shape key to do nothing, since the shape is exactly the same. But because the vert order is now flipped, we have a big problem. If I was to recreate this using more complicated topologies, such as Suzanne, you'll quickly see it becomes an even bigger problem. So how do we fix it? Well fortunately, because the Blender community is bloody awesome, somebody has written a free add-on to fix this issue, which I'll link in the description. Credit goes to Jose Canseco, or this name that I don't know how to say. They appear to be the same person anyway, and go and check out his other add-ons as there's some seriously good stuff in here. Now download the file, install it as an add-on the same way you would any other add-on, and enable it. Now in the tools panel you have two options. If the meshes have the exact same shape, which these do, just select the first object in object mode, then the second, and click transfer IDs by location. Now if I check the vert order, it looks correct. And if I add it as a shape key, it does nothing as expected, because there's no difference in shape. If there was a difference in shape, such as in this example, what you would do is select two faces next to each other and press copy vert IDs. Then select the same two faces on the second mesh and paste vert IDs, and that will fix it. Though be aware that if you have geometry that's disconnected from this mesh, such as these eyeballs, you need to repeat this process for each island. If you learned something new from this video, please hit the like button and share this video with someone it might help. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.